Good morning. Carol? All right, 7.30. Good morning, Susan and Ramey. Don't mind my box of tissues here. All right, let's get moving. My name is Katie. I've been sick forever. <laughs> so we just keep chugging along. All right, make sure you guys can see me okay. So this is strength, 30 minutes. Um, weights are optional. And I'll go through the movements and the exercises with you. Um, if you something that doesn't work for you, feel free to skip it and I'll try to give you adjustments, modifications along the way. My timer phone here, put some good music on. Let's get warmed up. All right, so we're gonna start with a little bit of a mobility flow here. So we're gonna do right leg forward, left leg back, hands to either side of your feet, lifting that back leg if it's okay. We're gonna reach the right arm towards the sky and we're gonna circle it three times, back, down, forward, and around. I think that was more than three. And then we're gonna take the hands to the inside of the foot. We're gonna walk them over to the other side. We're gonna come down into this low lunge. We're gonna shift forward, try to get that knee past the ankle if it feels okay. Pull the toes back, shift forward, pull it back one more time. We're thinking threes here for this little warm up. And then we're gonna walk it back to the front of your mat. This time you're gonna take the right arm high again. But you're gonna take right elbow towards the right ankle. So back knee can come down if this is too much. Right arm up, elbow to ankle. One more time, elbow to ankle, reach it up. Walk it back to that left foot. This time, we're gonna take the right foot forward, separate the feet nice and wide. Take your hands to the inside of the thighs. We're gonna drop one shoulder and then the other. A couple of times, uh, breathing, if you can. <laughs> okay, and then we'll step the right foot back. We'll walk it forward one more time. Let's just come to the top of the mat, stretch it out, nice full body. Pull one knee in, and then the other knee. Oh, I got some other people joining us. One knee, then the other knee. Keep going, Tara, Rich, Ramey, oh, Laura, Eileen. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining. All right, other side. So left leg forward, right leg back, knee lifted or lowered. Right hand down, left arm reaches high. We're gonna go down, forward, up and around, about three times. And then we're gonna walk it to the right foot. Bring the back knee down, shift forward, try to get some range of motion, pull the toes back. Just gonna start my watch here, three times. That was three or four. Good. All right, let's walk it back to the left foot. Take your time. Left arm high again. This time we'll take elbow towards the inside of the foot. Might not come down very far. That's okay. Just to get a little action in the hips here. Reach. One more time. Walk it to the right. This time we're going to bring the left foot in. Separate a little bit of a sumo stance here. We're gonna reach the hands down into our squat. Come on up onto the toes. Down, up, just one more time. Down and up, okay. Walk the left foot back all the way to the top of the mat. Right foot comes in. We stretch it out. This time we're gonna tap heel to butt. 
735. So we're going to get a move on here. All right, so this is what we have. We have some unilateral movements, one side of the body, and then we're going to combine them, okay? And we have 30 second and one minute exercises. All right, so let's just go through this first set. And we've kind of, instead of, a lot of times I separate upper, lower, core. Today we have, we're starting with lower and core, and then we have arms and core. So it's a little bit more combined, okay? So first exercise, feel free to do one with me, is going to be a squat with a kick forward. Option to hold the weight at your chest to add a little something, something, okay? Then we're going to do it on the left side, 30 seconds each. Then we have a bicycle right side only. So, well, we'll do right arm, okay? So we're going to do right arm, left leg, center, same side, okay? 30 seconds. Then we have a 15 second shakeout. Then we have a one-legged deadlift. Now, option to kickstand on the ball of the back foot. Soften the right knee. We bring it halfway down and lift up, right? Option to have your weights to make it harder. You can lift the entire leg. So we'll do right, we'll do left, then we'll do the bicycle on the other side. We'll have one more 15-second shakeout before we head into our lateral lunge with a lift get into the hip so you're going to do a lunge again option to hold the weight at the chest or in the opposite hand knee lifts up to hip height lunge knee lifts okay right side left side then we're going to rest then we're going to put it together so it's going to look like this squat right leg left leg Squat, right leg, left leg, one minute, deadlift, both legs are down, maybe a little heavier. Then we're going to do the lateral, but we're going to stay wide and we're going to stay low, right? So your body does not come up. I know a minute's a long time, so if you need to come up, it's okay. And then we'll do regular bicycles side to side, all right? Yeah, it's going to be fun. <laughs> I swear. And then we'll go over to the next section. We do have a minute rest after that whole long section. I know. Okay. Let's do this. Grab whatever weights you think you might need, right? Have a couple. We're going to start with the squat and a kick. We have five seconds. We're going to hold this lighter weight to start. Here we go. So squat. We'll start with the right leg kicking. Take your time. No hurry. All right, we're not rushing through these. We're going right to the other side before we get that quick shakeout and we switch exercises, okay? Here we go. Left leg. Still have the squat. Belly strong. Weight is optional, right? Especially here. Ooh, that squat was a little wide. <laughs> That's okay. If you're still feeling like you're getting warm, that's okay too. Five minutes is... Not always enough. Okay, quick shakeout. Oh, no, sorry. Bicycle. Then we have a quick shakeout. Apologies. Elbow to knee. Let's do right arm, left leg. Back to center. So low back stays down on the mat. And I want you to think more about elbow reaching to the knee versus the knee coming to your elbow. See how my leg isn't really moving that much? All right, now we have our shakeout. <laughs> okay, one leg deadlift. You can use one weight, you can use two weights. You're using one weight. Let's do the 
Opposite hand, we'll do right foot forward. Here we go. I'm gonna do full to show you here. Now remember, we don't want you coming any further than about halfway. Woo, balance. It's hard to look at the screen <laughs> and do the exercise. So you might only get a couple here, totally fine. We have plenty of time for more deadlifts. All right, we're gonna switch sides. Shoulder blades together slightly so that you're not rounding. Standing leg is bent. Oh man, what time today, KT? It's all right. Sometimes you have a shitty balance day. <laughs> this doesn't work out for you. All right, here we go. Bicycle on the left side. So left arm, right leg. Try to keep the knee over the hip, low back down. So when you come back to center, you can release the low back. But then once you start to come back into it, pull belly up and in, make sure there's no space and reach. All right, we have our 15 second shakeout. Before we move to lateral, here we go. All right, with a knee lift, so option to hold a weight. Let's start with the right leg. Let's do it. So right leg weights in the left arm if you're using it. Knee comes up just to about hip height. I learned how to split my timer into sides today. It's very exciting. That's <laughs> what was taking me so long this morning. I was like, oh, I think I got it. <laughs> All right, left side, here we go. Left leg all the way out, press through the outer edge of that foot. Come back up. Weight is optional. Try to balance, unlike me who almost fell. We have a one minute rest before we go into these one minute exercises. I know it feels like forever. One minute. All right, rest. Here we go. Shake it out a little bit. Okay. So we have our squat with both legs. We have our deadlift. We're going to stay low in that lateral. Then we're going to finish with bicycles. We're going boom, 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 one after the other. If you can, I would go a little heavier for your deadlifts. Okay, both feet on the ground. I have 10s, 15s, and 20s here. What did I do the other day? The lady at the gym is making fun of me. I had 40s, dumbbells. And she said, my neighbor, can you grab the 50s? I was like, Andrea, you grab the 50s. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're going to start with that squat with our kick. Three, two, one, I don't care which leg you start with, but we're doing both this time. All the way down, all the way up. I actually like the weight because it helps to kind of keep your chest a little bit lifted in squats. So even if you put something light there, if you have tendency, which I do as well, to kind of shift forward instead of keeping the chest lifted, that weight will help you. All right, so one minute. It's a long friggin' time. If you need extra breaks, you take them. The only breaks we're going to get for the next three, three minutes, a little bit more, <laughs> is a transition which we'll do now. Grab those weights, then lift, both feet, shoulders back and down, about halfway. 
and squeeze up. Keep the weights close to your body. We're gonna stay in that low lateral lunge next. I'm probably gonna do it without weights. But I will show you with a weight or two if you wanna add them. Press, so think about with deadlifts, pressing through the feet to lift yourself up, right? Instead of just kind of, oh, we're getting up, we're pushing down to lift up. All right, let's start our transition. Low lateral lunges. Here we go. So we're gonna stay wide, side to side. So you're kind of circling with the weights if you're using them. You could also use this one weight. Hold it close to your chest. Hold it down here. Chest is slightly lifted, but not as much as your squat, right? It's kind of like you're almost in between a squat and a deadlift. I'm going slow. You can go faster if you'd like. Ooh, these are spicy, I know. Almost there. Bicycles on deck. And then we get a break before we switch to upper body and more core. Here we go, bring it down. Oh, look, one of my weights is light, one is dark. Must be from the sun. Here we go. So low back stays down, side to side. So although the leg is moving, trying not to bring it up past the hips. Think about reaching. Ugh. Sound effects are optional. We're over halfway, here we go. I'll go through our next section. We're gonna have some wide bicep curls, some jackknives, bent over rows, push-ups with a reach. And then if we have time, we'll have a little cash out. Rest, one minute, okay. Same format, option to hold a weight in both hands to make it harder. Wide curl, so you're out to the side. We're gonna do right arm, then we're gonna do left arm. Then we're gonna do a, just on the ground, <laughs> jackknife right. So you're in this sort of X position, Right hand to left foot, same to side, 30 seconds, 15 seconds shake out. Then we have a one arm bent over row, same thing. We'll do right for 30, then we'll do left for 30. I would recommend being in this bent over position is a lot, right? And we have basically two one minute um, sections. I would do three or four, come up and then go back down. I'm just gonna pause this because I'm not done explaining. <laughs> okay, then we have a push up with an arm reach. So if you want to put something in front of you to reach towards like a block or a weight, you can, you don't have to, okay? I did these the other day without the reach. This is a tricep push up. Since we did biceps earlier, we're gonna do tricep. So hands a little bit narrower. We're gonna bring elbows down, brush the sides of the body. And then your right arm is gonna reach forward either to an object or not to an object. Okay, we'll do the right side, then the left side. Then we'll rest. Then we're gonna do both arms, both arms, tricep push up, reach, reach, both arms. Oh gosh, I forgot the jackknife left. Sorry, we have the jackknife left. Oh man. The sinus infection is going to be the death of me. Then we're going to finish with V up. So it's basically both arms, both legs. But I'll show you when we have that one minute rest next, okay? All right.
here we go. We're going to start with our wide curls in three, two, one. So right arm only. Option to hold the weight in the left arm, but you don't have to. Knees slightly bent. Really pay attention to my sheet here. <laughs> so we're going to do right arm. We're going to do left arm. Then we'll do that right arm, left leg, jackknife. Here we go, left arm. Then we'll have our 15 second shake out. We'll get into those rows. Now you don't have to be all the way bent over. I tend to go all the way over, about that halfway like deadlift area. So you can come up to about 45 degrees. That's totally fine. I'll show you when we get there. All right, here we go. Weights down. Right hand, left foot. Now, if you cannot come all the way up, that's okay. Let's just do right elbow towards right foot. Stay here instead. Kind of like a toe tap. Otherwise, I want the full expression. We already did elbow to knee. So this is almost kind of like advancing that. All right, rest 15 seconds. We're going to take it into that bent over row. <laughs> Holding weights in both hands to make it harder. Right arm only. Here we go. So especially if you're going a little heavier here. Remember I said three or four, and then maybe shake it out if you need. 30 seconds isn't too bad, but we have another 30 second on deck. All right, come on up, shake it out. Left side, here we go. So if you need to come up a little bit further, I want you to think elbow into rib cage. Belly nice and strong to support you. We don't go further than halfway. Good. All right, we have that jackknife. Here we go, 30 seconds. Left hand, right foot. If you are modifying, you're doing this left elbow towards left foot, staying on the ground. Only five. Rest. All right. Here we go, push up, arm reach, object if you like, tricep push up. I'm gonna go on my knees so elbows are close and then right arm reaches. Take your time, right arm reaches. So the further away you reach, right, the harder this becomes. Good, all right, here we go, left arm. Push up, left arm. A lot of push ups in this round, you can do it. That's why I'm staying on the knees here. When we get to the one minute, it's actually gonna be a little bit easier because we're gonna reach both arms. So you have less time in that push up position. All right, one minute rest, good. Okay, so we have both arms curling. Now, if that becomes too hard, right, maybe your weights are really heavy for some reason, you can also do one arm at a time. Bend over row, same thing, do three or four, come up, shake it out, come back down. Then we have our tricep push-up, 
with a reach, a reach. We're gonna finish with V-ups. So typical V-up is hands to feet. My knees are a little bent here. Modification is to bend the knees completely. Modification is arms out in front of you, right? So we have options. You pick what works for you. Now, if VF does not work at all, right, and you did that modification before, you can go side to side here. VFs are not easy, really hard. All right, are we ready? Here we go. Wide curl, both arms, five seconds. Let's do it. Four minutes, finish it out. Let's go. Squeeze, release. Remember, you can always go one arm at a time, right? Upper body is a little different, especially if you're female. <laughs> it's just nature. We're born with more lower body strength than are born with more upper body strength. It's just the way it goes. We can change that, but for the most part, that's how it works. Woo! All right, we have those bent over rows on deck. Five seconds. Here we go. Let's do a quick shake out. Bent over row. So let's do three or four. I'm going to go for four. Belly up and in. No rush. Take your time. And then come on up. Shake it out. Now, shoulder blades are squeezing together and then as you release, they separate. Don't round, but they separate. Over halfway there. We're gonna move into those tricep push-ups with a, with a reach. Oh boy, oh boy, keep going. A little breezy today. Apparently, oh my goodness, 10 seconds. Good, all right, let's start to transition using your weight if you like. So we'll do one tricep push up, reach, reach. Last two minutes here. I don't think we're going to have time for our cash out. That's okay. We'll save it for next week. But over halfway. Take breaks if you need. Remember, one minute's a long time. All right, here we go. We're going to transition to V-ups. You could also use a weight too. So I'll show you again. Full V-up. Hands to feet, right? Like a V. Modificational V-ups. Knees bent. Further modification. Arms by the sides. Knees bent. Also hold the weight at your chest, really hard. <laughs> so we're trying to get the arms and the legs to move together. If you're not come all the way up, you're doing that elbow to foot, staying on the ground, breathing. Oh, oh. Sometimes you fall, that's okay. Almost there. Rest, oh my goodness, oh, just eight o'clock, holy moly. 
Okay, let's do a quick stretch. Quick stretch. Since we're here, feet together, knees out. Sit up nice and tall. And then fold forward. Oh, great job. That went by fast today. Apologize. I normally put the workout in the chat for you. Running behind in time. Working on my timer this morning. I was like, oh my God, it's 727. <laughs> Gotta go. All right, hands behind you. Open up the chest. Open up the abdomen. Keep stretching, keep moving. 30 seconds or whatever we just did was certainly not enough. Okay, whatever you're feeling, I would go back to, especially with the bent over position, some twisting, right? I love this one, nice and wide, dropping one shoulder. Then the other one feels really good for the back. Or you can come back into that low lunge twist, hold for a few seconds each side, okay? As always, feel free to reach out. If you have questions, thoughts, you can um, find me at Fitness Adventures with KT on Instagram or Facebook. You're welcome. Thanks so much for joining. I'll see you guys next week. Hopefully the science infection is gone. What the F? Bye. <laughs>